Yeah, 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 Mr. Sosa. My Alexis Sosa boy. Where Alexis come from? The birthday is Saint Alexius, 17th of July. How you doing? Hey, managing. How about you? Yeah, I'm all right. So hoping and praying to get in contact with you. What we're doing is the history of all the soccer here in Toronto. So if you can give me any kind of information on how you were thinking, if it's possible, I don't know what your thoughts are. Uh, Ian Jones said he came down from Kingston and basically um, you had it kind of going. He played against you with the University of Toronto and you guys form a friendship. I guess you guys know about each other from home. And, oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I know you sing a man from Club Trinidad. I, I was a big man. All right, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I remember a man, Mr. Penalty, in New York once. Yeah, that guy's only oh, should have got rid of that guy. Oh, good, but we try so hard. <laughs> 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 so, oh, yeah, you came to um, Toronto. You came right after Ian, as you're one of the early ones, boy. So, so you're Ian Jones? Yeah. In Kingsland, you went there. Yeah. Exactly. So how you come up with this idea of, so you went to university right away, Toronto, or? I was going to England. Um, I didn't have enough money. I was going to study medicine in England. And my father said, I hope you have money. But then I used to play in a band in Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. Los Muchachos. I heard that name. Yes, and they, most of the guys there, Earl de Govaya and Ken Frank Knox, and Ken Knox, came to Canada. So they kind of encouraged me to come here. So I came here, and, and they said, well, you could support yourself in the band because you get paid. Whereas I couldn't go to England and, and get money. I was yeah. going to stay with my family, but they not, would not support me. I had to pay for myself, so I just kind of managed. And that's how it started. I came to the band. Okay. The band was the, the influential commodity in, in, in my coming to Toronto. And then uh, did you stay or, or you went back and came again? No, no, no. I, I came and stayed here. I lived on Spadina and Blow. Okay. And I, I I stayed here. When when you say blow, you're talking on the sides, you know. Don't let the I people know your business, you know. I stayed right there. Okay, and how the Irish thing came up? Well, we used to play with West Indies United. When I came here, Dallas, uh, what was your name? Dunkley, Dunkley. Yeah, Dunkley. A number of guys, they come and play with, with, with West Indies United. And Tom was the Tom Sosa was the the, the, the the manager or a president. So I went and played there. And we used to play at High Park. And then we decided you see, we a lot of Trinidad just started to come to Toronto after that and we said, Well listen, we'll form our own team. And then we, the West Indies League started. And that caused the, the, the IRE sort of conglomeration. Trinidad oh. boys in in in, in IRE formed the Trinidad team and West Indies United formed a Jamaican team and so on. Well, there's deliberation whether it was um, really a Jamaican and a Trini thing, but um, in dealing with Bugs and them, they say it was just uh, they wanted all, everybody from the Caribbean. Yeah, the, yes, it was a Caribbean league. But then it started to move towards Ireland. Everybody wanted their own team. Barbados, Jamaica, Guyana, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so that's what started to happen. And then, what's the, what's, the, what's the newspaper again? The Contrast. Contrast. Well, Contrast sponsored the league. So we went to the, 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 the runner at Contrast. Let, let me move from here because my wife watching TV. All right. So the formula I really said it, it was a call to colors because of the contrast, correct? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a major part of the whole thing because the league started with contrast support. And we all, 
I think three of us went to the, the, the owner of the contrast, the, the fellow who was running the contrast at that time. That is Hamilton, right? Yeah, and he decided to sponsor the league. And we should have papers on that, you know. I don't know if you ever saw those. Yeah. So, what you thought of that competition with the contrast and, and how you guys end up in TND? You guys were in TND and then you formed the contrast, correct? Well, um, I didn't remember. I'm using my remembrance. Yes. I was playing with West Indies United. Junior Parker was the, the main man that brought me with West Indies United. And Tom influenced my coming to West Indies United. And then the, the contrast league started. And they said, oh, what if we form we, the, the island thing and everybody go to their own country kind of thing. So everybody move out. And some guys played with Jamaica, some guys played with Trinidad. I can think of two of them, and the, the, the red boy that played with us, what was his name? He was, was the, almost the captain of, of, of the Jamaican team. Red, short, red. It had two. He had Junior Parker and, and somebody else. I can't remember. But then, as I said, the numbers started to grow with, 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 with Trinidadians. And we had enough Trinidadians to form a Trinidad team. Henry Cornery, Alan Callender, uh, who else was uh, Ian Jones. Ian Jones. Mangi? No, no, Mangi was in London. Right. Mangi was in London. And Kelvin Arthur. Rainer. Yeah, Rainer was the manager. Uh, I hear Scarrow was the coach. Yes, Scarrow was the coach. Uh, so, uh, what about Clyde McNeil? McNeil was the goalkeeper. Okay. McNeil was the goalkeeper, and we used to practice up on Townfield Park. We used to play that, we used to play that, and we, we could only play when they're not playing their games there. There was, there was a league up there. And we used to play on, on, on that ground. And then we, we come down to, to your ground. So you started what division? Fourth division. We went fourth, third, second. And we, we finished second in, 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 the, in the second division. And we went to the first division. We had to apply. We, we had to go in and, and talk to them at their annual meetings and that kind of stuff. So we managed to move to first division. And we had a good enough team because we, we played in a in a in a an Ontario Cup uh competition one year. When we were in fourth not fourth division, but second division and almost won it. We we played a, a team from London and I'm trying to remember the name and you just in my memory here. Uh, London name. City? No, you don't have to. You don't have to. But um, Mangi said you guys reached the semi final and you did well. West Indies went on to the final and won. So, um, how you start getting the gyms? I met you in Castle Frank. When I came, you guys were indoors in Castle Frank. Well, I knew the, the procedure for applying for use of space. And the gyms, that, the first gym was Castle Frank. I used to live right on Parliament, which is just down the road from Castle Park. Yeah, I, I, I could tell you which way to turn when you come in your place because I used to come and kill you as the, um, your pioneer amp. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when all used to come by me on 650 Parliament. Yes. I was very accommodating, so thanks. Well, what would I did I did my part. Yeah. No, but when I lived there, there was a, 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 a group that used to play at Casa Franca and I went across there one day and I see this group. I said, well, how will you get here? He had to apply to us. So, so. And I, I said, well, we could, that's what we could do now. So I applied and we got permission to use Casa Franca. I agree at that time. And then we got another Jackie Jones, which is Ian Jones' sister. Mm -hmm. They were playing netball at a school down on... Oh God, but it's in your place. Some we don't just bring us, some we don't. Mm -hmm. And they were playing that ball and, and, and they lay girls. She said you the one who um she hooked up with uh, affiliate lay girls to, to Ivy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, we, 
they had an annual fest at Ivy League. That's right. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. And she was, but when they live on Tyndall, Ian wasn't here yet. Ian was still in Kingston. Mm-hmm. And she used to do everything for the boys. The girls used to do everything for the boys. So we managed. Okay, so um, so the tournament now. How how you look at the tournament? Amangi said it was your idea after yeah, well, going to New York. Yeah, well, we started to see guys coming down here for Caribana, and a number of, we decided to do that, and it turned out to be a, a, a good idea. We used to travel. We used to travel once a year to, to a different city, and they used to come to us for Caribana. And we play that at Jossie Grown, so I think, I think that, that is the essence of this kind of connection with the other cities. Okay, and then, then it rises up to Boyside and then um, Brockton? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Miles, you now give me something more than anybody will give me. Well, I remember? Yeah. So how you look at the, the, um, the tournament, how it evolved, because you've been very much part of that. I know Mangi did the coordinating, but... Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember how we moved to, to the, 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 the uh, stadium. From Brockton to think? I, I may be assuming that um, either, not, not, either... Because I think... we played one tournament there. No, I think it's two. The Sherbert? Yes, yeah, because I played first in these days, and then they went premium, 77. And then I, play, I played I read 78. I can't remember. Yeah, right. And then we, it went to Lamport. Okay. Because I, I remember the, we, when we went to the Lamport Stadium. Well, it started with teams wanting to come here to play. And Defence Force was one of the first teams who wanted to come here. Mm -hmm. Well, Defence wanted to come here because Ralph Wrong and I went to school together. Is that right? Yeah, man. Ralph and I went to St. Mary's together. We joined cadets together. He had a fella called Officer Veen. Now you, know, you, know, you, you open up my mind here. That's right. Officer Veen was an American and he wanted to join the cadet. And then Ralph in Fortree, Ralph himself and I and a fella called Samuel joined the cadets in St. Mary. And Ralph and I went right through. In fact, Ralph should have played it a couple of years. But he was the captain of the hockey team, the, the, the field hockey team. And the basketball team. Rafa the man introduced me to basketball. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were getting to that because I came back and I met you there doing the basketball in St. Mary's. But um, so you met, we maintain contact with Ralph for him to come here with the army? Or, or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for two years, the tournament, the tournaments were held. Up. Okay, they were, they were in pack on the tournament though. They were always in the, the finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they had a big team. Man. They, had, they had some star players from, from Trinidad though. Yeah. I think you remember two of them and one stay with me. Well, Miles, it's our next um, situation where I I can say the club, the environment, knowing where the club is now, missed you. And I know you said you were taking care of your daughter or whatever, yeah, but that, yeah, that was a big miss. I, I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't let her go and go and worry about a club. That's what I said. I mean, I said that openly in, in one of the meetings I'm stepping down because of this. So that's what, how it was. Okay. Now, how, what within that time, so the music was always your first thing, so that's how you get a link up with the Club Trinidad business? Yes, well, Clive Mackey, Clive Marshall and myself get together with this idea about the band because we played once at that. It was it wasn't Club Trinidad. It was the owner wanted a a, a, a function, mm -hmm. and he asked us if we wanted to play there. And the idea dawned that hey, how about if we make this a whiskey thing? So we decided to buy into that. In fact, we took one third of the shares at that place. Seriously? Yeah, man. Be because you use the word you, you use the word buy and I was going to say is that literally speaking or no 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 that's how it was okay the, the fellow who was running that who owned the building was the caretaker of the building and we talked to him McNeil Marshall and Mr. 
about getting into it and, and sharing the, the spoil. And he says, sure, that's a good idea, man. So we, we went there and we, we played. That's why you guys had so much access. Yeah, man. Because Miles, you were like the resident band, that's all? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we were the band. Undergrads. Undergrads. S Singer, man. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Why you guys never really um, capture it, take it over? Like, wh wh because I remember you remember quite sort of get um, block or something there. Yeah, yeah well, we were in university. We weren't working. Mm -hmm. um, Earl the wire myself, and, and another part of the band, Frank Knox, decided to go into that and stay because. We were getting a risky income. We were both in university then we used to play. But they wanted a full week thing and we couldn't do that. Uh -huh. We played Friday and Saturday night. But then they started actually and say they the same thing every weekend. So that nice McNeil, nice McNeil's influence. And we started to tell them about the other thing that the, the other band was playing up at. Oh God, Edward Street. Was the name of that one? Up the road, they just come up the road by 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 the the St. Mike's around there, mm -hmm. and they they used to run a club, Trade Winds. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Trade Winds used to play in in, in that club, and they owned that club. They were part of that club. That's the one by what Edward and what? As soon as you come up from Club Trinidad, you just come up. And you make a, a, a turn there? Yeah, left. You come up to the children's club there. Okay. So we played there when they went to Saudi the Island. And we played there from time to time. And then we came back to Club Trinidad. So, Mars, will you tell me Tradewinds was based here? Yeah, ma'am. Is it where from? But where the hell is this? I know, trade, I know Tradewinds from home, and I didn't know there was base here. No, no, Tradewinds is that here, man. Sivalo. Sivalo from Besson Street. The drummer. He was a policeman. Okay. Sivalo. Uh, oh, God. Dave. What is Dave's name, boy? The singer. The lead singer. Mm hmm And, uh, uh, anyway. So, so what you thought of the um the rivalries, you know, when what what, what teams you figure was um you know you had to over your career there because when I came up you were still playing alright, you know. So you had the skill, so I mean you know as age come on you ain't got the You're not skill from over. It had to you playing over? <laughs> of course. For what team? Hundred? Thompson. He is the fellow that bring me and my brother up this uh, thing. Mm -hmm. But when he used to go to jail and move on, Lynn, Lynn, where's Lynn name? Away. And we used, to, we, used to, we used to ride up to move I, I will hear the, the imported teams. Manchester United, 100. It can't be Dodgers because Dodgers was the McIntyre brothers and them. It must be Manchester United. But Albert Thompson bring Bunny. And Bunny bring me up there. And we, as I say, we used to ride up. The move on. Could you move on. Some of the, the weekends we ride up to move on, then ride down to the Gomad and to play in a league. But you making me tired to know that you're riding to go play a game. From from where? From from where you are? Down where Merlin and them used to live? Best one street. Yeah, because Molino tell me you used to take him to school. Don't mind Molly. Molino take me to school. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 I'm telling you the truth. Because I, I remember the morning when my mother Ask his mother to let Ken come and take me to school. We went to Nelson Street Boys. Okay. And he did, afterwards he left and went to, they moved to Belmont. Okay. As so he, you he, he went around to Queen Street right by Merlin Barnfield. You remember Merlin? Yes, Bowers. Yeah, uh, Bowers used to live opposite me. <laughs> you remember that time? And there's always had a heckly mother that say, remember when Merlin was looking after you as a baby and you follow up? in front of the house on your head and your balance on your head so so that's what i'm doing that is all the second only claim for that no no but i know merlin and them mother they, they were they were close to us Irving, um merlin ansel 
In fact, it was Ansel and, and Jack and Irving, they had a twin brother, Bonnie. So, um, back to, to, let me deal with your St. Mary's days now. Okay. Um, you passed for St. Mary's from what school? Yes, the Street Boys. Okay, was that the time like scurrying them with common entrance or was it exhibition? Yeah, yeah, it was common entrance. Okay, so that it was... was exhibition day, sorry. Exhibition. Okay, and when did you start playing for St. Mary's in terms of um, the, the football itself? I left in, in 61, so I think 61, 60, 59, 58. Probably yeah. the last four years in school, I played for intermediate and first division. Okay, so um, how was the intercal to you? Was it was it still shared between you, Krasi and Fatima? Or, no, or no. you were playing um, first division? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we used to play first division as well. It wasn't a school league at that time, it was first division. You had to play in, in one of the leagues. Mm -hmm. So we played in first division and we played there. So and I played the last two years, 60 and 61. Uh, not intercol. I didn't play intercol in 60, I played in 61 and we beat QRC 1 at With hey. a big team, Lincoln Phillips and all of them. And don't, don't tell me a score, you know. No, no, no. Well, they had my, uh, I'm, not, I'm not lying, they had my name on the papers of scoring the goal, but it was Checky. Well, how come Checky never even said that in the interview? Uh, the the, the Indian papers had Miles Sosa scoring the one goal. Because the three of we reached on the ball. Uh, Ralph Horton fake at a thing and they can dive on the wrong side and Ralph hit him a long one and the ball stick on the, on the line. And Checky, myself and Ralph reach on the ball. And Jackie push it in. So he scored Flash's goal? Yes, he, he's always still like, I gave him a bullet and he couldn't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then, and then and the morning paper, they turned that Guardian, they had me, they had Jackie. He won scoring the goal. So they, so they corrected it. Mm -hmm. But that was it. And from St. Mary's, did you have the opportunity to play with anybody? Because you came up in 65, 67. So who you play for after St. Mary's? I went down south. What? To play for who? BP Palo Seco. That, that is the money cause or what? Yeah, yeah, Jimmy, um, Jim Rowe was the skipper. Yeah, I remember Palo Seco in terms of over the team. Because most yeah, of yeah, the... yeah, because Scarrow and them, but then I want you to come down there and play with every year. Yeah, Mangi and them been talking up Scarrow game. Talk to me about Scarrow. What, what do you think? Because he's on the cover of the magazine. What do you think about Scarrow in the game? Which game? The, how he used to play his ability. Scarrow was the best center forward we had at, that, at his time. The best center forward we had. He and those used to play on that team too. But Scarrow was the best. This Definitely is... the best. Scarrow was very, very wicked. wicked. But there was a, a certain animosity between St. Mary's and Kiyosi. I, I, I picked up on that as a St. Mary's supporter. Anybody that went to Kiyosi or St. Mary's hardly talked to each other, you know. We didn't need to talk to each other, you know. Yeah, but I, I get that feeling and I didn't go to none of them college. Boy, but, but even the supporters didn't talk to each other either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a real one. Because I remember when we go in the stands and St. Mary's being Kiyosi in Takol, I in the stands. Kiyosi on one side and St. Mary's on the other side. And everybody shouting at each other. So that, that rivalry was intense, it's true. Yeah, it's yeah, true. yeah. So, so, Fatima, so Fatima ended up seeping in when all the concentrated on each other. Fatima and the Wolfo and them sticking one on all the way, Gali and them. I was, that was the year after I left. That's Mangi, that's Mangi and them, Mangi and, and who was boy? I'm trying to remember some of the other players, but uh, I can't remember. I, work, I used to work, I was working at, at Texaco, and I come down to see the games and the see we lost. It, it, it hurt, that, nothing ever hurt me more than Fatima beating me. <laughs> nothing ever hurt me like that. You, you never believed that you could see that? But, um, um, in fact, the fellow who was the captain of Fatima ended up playing at UFC with me. 
it was the stuff I was in him. He paid for three that. But, but, but here now, seeing that Scarrow is on the cover, give me a little more. What is Scarrow's strong point? Because he had a natural touch. A natural touch. And Scarrow and him from Corey Street. Yeah. Yeah. And he went Belmont after he said, but um, yeah. surprise. A wicked touch, boy. But he, he played for North and he played for Port of Spain League and all that kind of stuff. In school, Scarrow is a good sprinter too, you know. A good, good sprinter. So Scarrow and I only get together up here, you know. Not in Trinidad. And that was good. That yeah. was good because it makes room for me to come and be occupied a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he only get, we only get together up here. And he, he proved to be very valuable in terms of, of, of compromise. And a, an intelligent fellow. A very intelligent fellow. He passed seniors under age, you know, like men used to be 18 and 19, he mm -hmm. passed at 16. Ooh. Now he was, he was a, a, an intelligent fellow, well spoken, could write well and all that kind of stuff, you know. Well, I remember the big words. Oh, yeah, 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 and he's still full, you know. <laughs> I remember the big words. They alone used to be laughing. He's still full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Scarrow was, a, was, a, was, a, was a, a, a above normal kind of individual. That's how it's striking me to be. Yeah, yeah, above normal. In, in, in almost all aspects of his game, and he was very a, a pleasant fella to approach. You saying the same thing everybody saying, boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real name, it's a bad, bad talk we play, no? If he bad talking you, he, he say it in a, in a certain way, and you realize that he bad talking somebody. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was always that way. Always that way. And you would always like to go somewhere to talk to somebody with Scarrow. Because he would carry the conversation in a proper manner. A proper, proper English. Yeah, man, he's good, he's good. Mm -hmm. He was always so. He was always so. As I said, I, I knew him up here. I knew him in QRC, but not as a friend. And the friendship grew when we came here. But other than that, you know. Well, he's a lime on Nelson Street, you know. Scurry is a lime on Nelson Street with Dugger and Kelvin Andrews. And he's older than you, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He and Buddy, he's same age. So how you guys got together here? I mean that that was good. You were know, playing on the on the, the Irish club. That's how he come here. Um, if I may, if it's okay with you, um, Tom, this role he played in West Indies here. Yeah. Um, according to Scarrow, Scarrow didn't even expect him to come marry. He said no. He said Tom Sosa was an organizer. And like he didn't even think he, 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 in other words, he respected the job Tom was doing over by West Indies then. That although you guys were forming Irie, he accepted. Yeah, yeah, he stayed with, he stayed with West Indies. And he, it seemed like Tony accepted that. He didn't yeah. accept the junior, the junior um, Parker. So you knew Pancho too, right? God, uh, yeah, yeah, Pancho Parker. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pancho came to us at Irie at our first athletic meeting in Scarborough College. You know, we used to hold a, an athletic meeting, an athletic day. So that, that's when Pancho came over. Because I remember he and Checky running a, a kind of one of the races. So let me back to Tom. As your bigger brother, did he always have that organizing skills? He is not my him? brother. He's my cousin. That I always thought it was your brother. No, 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 that is my father's brother's son. He had two brothers and two sisters. Of Separia. Mm hmm But he came to Port of Spain and he lived in Belmont. He was friendly with guys like Carla Heat and with them fellas. He was more friendly with there's a club that, that brought them together called Rangers. You ever hear about him? Yeah. Well, Tom was in Rangers, Bunny was in Rangers. I was a little fella. Okay. I went to Tobago with them for a Sun Tide meeting. They used to go every year to Tobago on the boat to run. And I ran my first race in Tobago, a three mile race. They gave me a distance. I finished the race and they gave me a silver cup. 
Scarborough Court. Tom and Bunny run that race, and Tom would beat Bunny in the mile. They used to go head to head mile race because Daddy was the miler. Okay. My father was the, the, the West Indies champion, you know. Tell me about it. What? You know that? No. My father was the West Indies mile champion. That's how I get my name, Miles. Oh, dear. All right. I was running in England when I was born. Okay. Because the, 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 the Olympics was put off because of the war. All right. Okay. So that's how you get Miles? Yep. That is it. Okay, well, and you are short distance man, so I don't know what uh, And I used to run half on mine. Okay, so you tried to follow in his footstep? Yeah, well, because Tom and Buddy in St. Mary's had won the mile race when they ran that year. And my last year I had to run the mile. As for Daddy? As for Daddy, and I won. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Obviously, you had to train for it, right? My father used to wake me up every morning to run down Marine Square, down Rice Road, and back up before I go to school. You know. That's why you had that kind of discipline that men couldn't understand. And on Saturdays, he, he drove me and Buddy up to Shavonas and put me out and we had to run home, you know. That's as a training or? Yeah, the... yeah, part of the training. Uh, he was he's a, a difficult man, boy. Difficult man with training. But I mean, Miles, Miles it, smoke. it worked for you, you know? But I hope so. We used to get a five o'clock every morning. I didn't, I didn't have a choice. And Daddy on the bike, and we going down Marine Square, down Rice Road, back up home, and we going to school. And so, walk from St. Mary's to Best Street for lunch. And then run down to St. Mary's grounds in the evening to play football. So Tom had any type of administrative skills before he came up? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Tom, Tom was, 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 but he come from he was just as much a disciplined parent as a daddy. There was a disciplined family. Okay. The whole family, there's a whole bunch of them, you know, I think it's 10 or 12 of them. And they were very, very disciplined. Very, very disciplined. When you go, they had to behave yourself. In fact, it, I think the mother sent Bonnie and me home when we went up to spend some time in Separio with them for something that we do that, that she didn't like it so they go home That I drive serious though? Yeah, yeah, so we, we, we miss me here and she sent me home she so they go home and, and you see you remember that up to today? Oh yeah, I, I will never forget that Yeah So you had interaction with Tom home and, and what I'm was here. it like here. here? We talk here Alright, so He moved, he moved from where he, where he lived there on, on, on North York or wherever because his wife is in a, in a long-term care home When you came here with West Indies how did you tell Tom, Tom have we formed this club you know? No, 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 he, he, the, 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 the contrast he caused that So it was a simpler thing than people make it out to be then? Yeah, it wasn't a, 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 a cut it was your, 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 your orientation is this way and, and your loyalty is this way. Okay. Not Jamaican, so you're going to the Jamaican club, you're going with your Trinidad club. Okay. We oh. had the same problem with Henry Cornby and Alan Callender. Because they, they, Alan Callender would have gone to the Toronto Metro's team in, the, in that professional league that they were starting at. And he didn't make the club and he wanted to come back there and I told him, no, you're not, you're not welcome here. Go back. <laughs> My, they see that's the thing about you. No, I can't support you in that one. No, but he, we were depending on him because Alan was a good player. He has two sisters that were represented to his dad, you know, in sports. Okay. He had two sisters, a twin sister in, in Forest Reserve. And I went down to a forest reserve and played for forest. Texaco Forest. Carol and them used to come down with Dynamo Wills. And who was the coach at that time? They had, they had a big name coach. What you, what you think could have created this whole demise of Irie after all they had Club Trinidad and all this thing we had Martin. banned? Eh? 
Martin. How you come by that? Tell you. I don't know. I didn't get a, 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 a good feeling for his style. I don't think he was teaching skill or anything like that. He, he's a fella that gives you the impression that, that he has a certain level of skill and he didn't. I don't think Manny, Martin was a qualified anything. He lied about a lot of things. I, I kind of shock how you answer it so abruptly though. No, 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 I, I tell you the truth. It, it's all about, it's about not only integrity but truth. This is the truth. But I'm talking about the reason that Ari is defunct uh, for you. You came out abrupt. I, I, you shocked oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Martin Marshall back from man. Well, somebody's quote that same thing come from you the years back, you know. So, oh, yeah. You're willing to go on record that way, man? Yeah, man. Eh? Yeah. I, I will tell him in his face. I will not be ashamed to tell him in his face that you mash up Ari. Wow. And, and why? How? Elaborate on that. Uh, will be divided. But I mean the dressing room thing is just one era. We played a game once and 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 when, when the Jamaican star again I was on the team, Bukit. Bukit was on the field and he get injured and Martin wouldn't take him off. And all of you watching that thing and cussing. Take this so and so off man. You know, and we lose the game. And, and but, but again he stand up people in suppose he say, alright. But he must, that is what started the demise of the whole club. Well, he had Bukit and he had somebody else, Stiko. I remember in Trinidad I saw you, you went with St. Mary's. What was that all about? What, what did you go back to St. Mary's to do? And how was that? I was hired as a manager of the school. From up here? Yeah. Well, Father Anton, who was the principal at that time, mm -hmm. and I were in school together. He, um, he came away to study, and when he heard that I was retiring, he said, come back to Trinidad, I have a job for you. So I went back, and he made me the manager of the school administration manager. So I went back, got my office, and I helped him build the, the new wing, the photograph wing. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And we brought back, uh, 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 we, we introduced the, the, the uh, what do you call it, computers and that kind of stuff in that wing, we put it in that wing. Mm -hmm. And Danny Ramdani was in charge of it. And he said, Mr. Sosa, I had to get, if you get the computers, I go run it, the thing. And he was a qualified one. So I applied to, to IBM and they gave us computers. And I had an office there at, on Pembroke Street. The Pembroke Street, street side of the school anyway, I shouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. Was Sedley there? Who Sedley? Joseph. Yes. He took over from me when I left because they, tr they tried to make me stop going. Because I, I said, no, no, no. When they changed the principal of the school from Anton to Father Anton, Father, I forget whatever. I say, no, 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 I ain't working for this fellow. He was another selfish man. Oh, you can't deal with the selfishness. Yeah, yeah, but it is, it's a kind of basic instinct. You start doing these types of things, you don't realize that people understand that you you trying to do something that is not right. And you can't tell them anything. He was the principal of the school, I can't be, be against him. He called a, a special meeting, which uh, the, the, the president of the old boys union and myself mm. to ask me how much money I want to stay. I say I'm not staying. You might say I have to stay. I say I don't have to stay. I say you can't tell me I have to stay. I'm not staying. In fact, my my wife was supposed to come down and stay with me in Trinidad. We used to live up in my house. I mean, oh. I had a, an apartment. Not in my hotel, just below. Um, was that being paid for? Part of the job? No, no, I oh. paid for it. I didn't get any money from staying in in in, in Saint Mary's, you know. I did it freely. Are you serious, man? Yeah, yeah. I, I did it. So, so the basketball program you were doing, that was voluntary too. Yeah. But you're serious alumni, boy. No, no, no. Well, 
I love my St. Mary's father. I tell them that I love my St. Mary's. And everybody succumbed to what happened with, with, with this, this new priest. When he realized that everybody used to come to me rather than him, he started to, regardless of his religious instincts, he started to feel how. And I say, look, let me go there because something happened. Yeah. Yeah, you would read that. You would read that. So I, I, I called Julia and said, don't bother to come. I come in back. Is she coming back? I said, yeah, I come in back. So Marzi, I, I want to thank you that you keep you in time for you to sup. Um, well, boy, we say we get back together. I, I never really thought we'd talk this long. But. So take care of yourself. Stay safe. And um, we'll talk again. Yes, ma'am. All right. You get your vaccine? Yeah, one. I'm going to get the second one. All right. You take care and say, and say hi to your wife for me too. Okay then. I right, take care. Right. Bye. Be there.